Welcome! In front of me I have smartwatch Hama 7010 and I'm gonna show you how to uh, pair this watch with the Android phone. First thing we need to do is to turn on our watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the upper button. Keep holding the button until you see the Hama logo on the screen. And once you see the logo, you can release the button and wait until the watch is done booting up. And once it, uh, once it boot up, boots up, you should see the message on the screen telling you to download and install the Hama FitMove application on the phone you want to pair your watch with. So go to your phone, uh, to the phone you want to pair your watch with. Make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once you do, open the Play Store, tap on search tap on the search bar and type in uh, Hama Fit Move and then tap on search. And on the list of applications you should see this app. You can tap on the install button to download and install it. And once the application is done installing, you can tap on open to open it. In the, in the app you will see this page and basically you have two options, start to use or login. Uh, if you don't have an account, you can tap on start use or start to use and basically it will uh, let you go through the process of pairing the watch with your phone and after that it will ask you to make an account uh, for some reason. Uh, and if you have an account, you can tap on login and basically do it before you pair your watch with your phone. I already have an account, so I'm gonna tap on login. Check the box here. Oh, my bad. Tap on agree. As you can see, we need to uh, enter the email address and password now, so give me a couple of seconds. And then we can tap on login. To log in. After you log in, you may see some pop ups about the uh, permissions. For example, phone call logs, uh, contacts, and stuff like that. This is useful for the uh, notifications and stuff. Basically, not usually for the notifications. So, if you want to receive the notifications about calls from your phone on your watch, you will need to allow these permissions. If you don't care, you can keep them denied. I'm just gonna allow them, but like I said, you can deny them if you want to. Then tap on OK. And now you should see the home page. Once you're on the home page, tap on the device icon and then tap on add device. Allow the require, uh, requirement or permission for the location, then allow the permission for the nearby devices and the app should start searching for the nearby devices and it should detect your uh, 7010 watch. Tap on it to select it. Once you see this message, tap on finish. And right here, you, I, I have a pop-up about couple of things actually, I have a couple pop-ups. First one is the Bluetooth pairing request. If you see it, tap on pair. Next we have the SMS permission request. This is useful for the, again, notifications uh, from the SMS. So if you want to receive the notifications from the SMS on your watch, you will need to allow this permission. If you don't care, you can deny it. Next I have a firmware upgrade. I'm just gonna tap cancel for now. And here we have a uh, option to turn on the system notifications. So if you want to receive the notifications, uh, from your phone on your watch, you will need to uh, tap on turn on. If you don't care, you can tap on turn off. And if you want to enable them, like I said before, tap on turn on. You need to scroll through this list, find the uh, Hama Fit Move app, tap on it, uh, tap on the switch next to allow notification access, tap on allow. And once you allow the notification access, you can go back and notifications should be uh, enabled. And next we have the goals, basically like a step goal, um, and we can enable or disable the call reminder, music control and stuff like that. And once you're done, you can tap on yes. And if you now go to the device page, you should see your smartwatch 
7010 right here at, at the top of the list, which means that the devices are uh, paired together. And that's how you pair this watch with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.